Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here to share with you my next project for the Piece by Piece, which is Beverly's Etsy shop. I'll put the link down below for you. For those who don't know, Beverly carries beautiful trims, embellishments, and other goodies, so please go check her out. I'll also put a list to the items that were used in the making of this project. So um, I'm visiting my mom, so I'm not home and I'm having to hold the camera. That's why I'm covering the lens at the minute because <laughs> I don't want to move too much and make y'all sick. But um, I had to make uh, something for my mom's birthday, so I decided to make her this card. And I was inspired by Tina, who is top cropper here on YouTube. So thank you, Tina, for the inspiration. And this is what I came up with. So as you can see, this is a card for my mother, and actually it's made on a policy envelope. And um, I'll show you more of that in a second. But, um, excuse my reaching. <laughs> I'm going to start up, <clears throat> excuse me, I hope I don't put too much shadow on this. Up at the top you can see I used wheat sprays and teal, and then I used a pink flower trim here. And I used Beverly's flat back pearl with rhinestone and baby blue right there in the center. It's lovely. And then as you come down onto the envelope, um, I made a little banner that reads happy birthday. And then on this side here, I used the scallop Viennese lace and cream. Really beautiful. And actually it's big, but I had to use just the lower portion of it. Um, this is the satin scallop edge trim in rose. And then these are pom-poms in mocha. These are all from Beverly Shop. The paper collection, I don't remember the name, sorry. I know it's from the UK. <laughs> um, there's a picture of me and my mom. And actually, um, I was watching Patty Shabby Pink Stamper, and she did a, two, like I mentioned about um, doing a photograph on fabric. So I did that on fabric, and then I used embroidery thread to sew it onto the cardstock. Um, right here I have the fl uh, floral Viennese lace and cream right there and then I have the Viennese lace trim that's peeking out here and as you can see I layered some cardstock in the back and distressed it a little bit. As you come down further you're seeing the mini daisies in pink right there and then the pom-poms in the olive green and some more of that beautiful satin scallop edge trim in rose. And then there's some pleated tulle in cream down here at the bottom. Martha Stewart Butterfly. And in the center I used a large candy gem um, in light blue. If you see, I just cut one of them off and bent the antenna to make it look like a butterfly body. So that's the front um, of the card. And I'll flip it over. And on the back I used this beautiful... Um, it's called a Viennese yolk and the color is cream and so that was where my closure is. I used some pink pom-poms down here and then the other trims wrap around from the front. And then just layered some fabric and this actually will open and there's the opening for the policy oops, policy envelope there and um, this is held closed with a little velcro. So there you go. That's my project for the month of November. I'm a little bit late. I apologize, but this trip was unexpected and I didn't know how I was going to do this. I still don't know if I'll be able to record, get this on the computer. I'm going to try. But um, anyhow, be sure and shop at the Piece by Piece. I'm sure you're going to love everything you find there. And Beverly has great customer service. So go by and visit and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.